And it's a beautiful day out. Look at this. There's actual sun. There's actual lots of blue sky. However, look where I'm going. That doesn't look sunny. That does not even look dry. No concern. So we're going up this way quite a ways and then break off from the path, turn left, and head up a ridge. The south, southeast ridge of Something, something that is to my North American tongue unpronounceable. Although I'm sure that with a little practice, I could get it. I've just never heard anybody say it 10 or 15 times. A little below here, just after I recorded the bath last bit, um, it started to spritz down on me a little, uh, just a little sheets of very fine rain coming down and I stopped and I pulled my uh, rain shell out of my pack just as it stopped and cleared up so <laughs> I put my rain shell back in the top of my pack just in case but didn't need it and now look at this this is pretty good here's hoping it stays this way My route is starting to come into view. That's where I'm going to be up there. Oh, I think I see some people. Okay. Okay, well, it stopped raining, but the bad news is it started snowing. So, such is life. Um, that's my route, up there. Looking forward to getting over those bumps up near the top. Still snowing. But there's blue sky over there. Hoping this passes soon. So, from the trail, which is down over that way, came up across to the bottom of this slope right here. And it's been kind of working my way up through little crags and things, stuff like this. Just kind of wind your way through it. So far, so good. Look at that blue sky. Come on, blue sky. Come on, blue sky. Had enough snow. It's already starting to ease. But what a day. Look across there. That's gorgeous. Through the veil of snow, it looks gorgeous. Beautiful. And from here, I can see my campsite. <laughs> it's just right in there. That big opening with the trees around it. And near the far right side of it. Just there. That's where I'm camping. Ooh, look how thick it is over there. And look how it's spinning out here. Okay, rocks start drying out. I got some grade three scrambles up ahead. That's clearing. That's looking good. Gorgeous. All right, up and up. The guidebook says to take the ridge direct, which would be up and over that thing right there. I think. It says, that's some fun little scrambling. But you know what? I'm a little tired after the last few days. I'm gonna take the, uh, the easy route around the side for now. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go up here and see what it's like to wander across the top. So, a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. Here it goes. Easy scrambling, one hand scrambling. Oh, 
the sun. Here it comes. Okay, so this is much different from down there. <laughs> Not that much different. Another shower behind the hill that's coming towards us. Some interesting scrambling coming up that stuff. Up to here. Uh, up, up, up. Whew. A lot of breath. Still got my rain jacket on because it's still a bit of a breeze and that my shirt is wet underneath, so I want to keep the breeze off. Pretty cool. It's a little bit scary. Just a little bit. Just because I don't know what's beyond here. He mentions that these pinnacles are definite grade three standard coming up uh, to take them directly once you get up to this level. So I'm kind of pushing the harder stuff, I think, here for me. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. That's the top of the ridge right there, the top of the last pinnacle. I came up just around the side of it over here. It was challenging. There were a couple of spots where I felt just a little bit too exposed. Solo. Went back, circled around a little more. Never found a really obvious, comfortable way to do it, but I got here. I scrambled to the point. I just gotta head up here always. But I'm on the ridge itself. You can get a pretty good idea of where the route goes here. I'm a little past the first mineral, the first summit there. And it's gonna follow this wide ridge and then go up and down the pinnacles. There. I've seen a uh, few people come in the other direction. Uh, apparently, there are some people heading the same way as me. You can see there's some people just right in there now, heading this way. Ah, beautiful. It's cold in the wind at the moment. I'm very sheltered from it. A little cold up here, the air, but uh, it's not snowing currently, so that's good. Hopefully, no, man, no more of that comes through. all the way down, up and down and up and down and around and across. A little bit of snow around, but it's soft. It's soft. It's icy. that goes around this spot. Comes up here. It's a like, but I'll do it. There we go. I'll go up and I'll touch it. I'm uncomfortable.
across the ridge. Looks like mostly just a hike. Part way up the slope now. There's where I've come from. Damn, that was good. That was good. I'll come from down there. Ooh, does not look good. So, the ramparts. the top. 1,055 meters. That's a good size mineral. Beautiful, beautiful day it's turned into. It's still cold. That wind is biting. It's cold without my gloves on. Some people down on the ridge over there. So my route, basically, uh, So, I've been up over the top, there's a little intermediate summit in between, which is right up there, came down this, there's a little bit of ridgy walking there, but you know what, I'm tired. So, I'm skipping out on a little bit of, you know, scrambly, knife top, ridgy thing. I mean, it looks fun, but I'm tired. And I want to save a bit of energy and time for going up that last summit down at the end of the ridge before coming back and dropping into the quarry. So that's what I'm doing now. A little bit of a drop right here. It's a wee cairn. So that's the start of the descent here. But I think I will go up and hit that last summit there at the end of the ridge. It's about 90 meters up from where I am. Planning to take a rest day tomorrow, so might as well. And here we are. Not the highest, not a Monroe. The last summer I started a long and arduous descent. Look at that A over there. Looking good. That's pretty cool. That right there is the last third of my day. Spectacular. And back to my descent, Karen. Ooh. Go down there. That's not the way. Looks like this is the way. Careful. All right. Looks like it just drops. 
steps off the edge of the world. <laughs> it's a bit spooky. <laughs> How do you see a trail? I'm down about half my elevation now, a little bit more, and um, quite the route down here. Started up that way, came down, across here, and down, down, down over this. My left little toe is hurting. I think I may end up with a blister after today. I'll see where the trail ends, which is down by the cars there. And then I will be walking over to...